So these yearlings arrived from our American and English studs about two weeks ago, so they're in the very early stages of the breaking process at the moment. Their daily routine involves a little bit of time on the walker, a little bit of time in the lunge pits, perhaps most importantly two or three hours out in the paddock every day. The turnout is a really important part of the breaking process in my mind. I think it's really important that a young horse can have a few hours every day out in the paddock, heads down, eating grass. It's very good for their minds just to have that couple of hours every day where they can do their own thing. We bring them into a round pen which we call a lunge pit. So we're just sort of teaching them to listen to our voice commands, be relaxed in an environment where they're on their own, they haven't got their friends with them, and really sort of teaching them their transitions. So we're teaching them to walk on the lunge, trot on the lunge, and then have a little hat canter sometimes on the lunge as well. Once we've got the horse used to being long reined and used to having pressure on both sides of its bit, we'll start to introduce tack. It's just sort of gradual baby steps, um, a gradual process, letting the horse get used to each stage before the next one, trying to make sure that the horse isn't frightened at any time. You know, really they should enjoy the process as much as anything. The daily routine of a yearling at pre-training at this stage involves time in their paddock, time on the horse walker, which we can see behind me here, and time ridden. We put them on the walker tacked up at this stage and we really like it. It's a really nice way of warming a horse up without having a rider on their back. So to start with they'll be on the walker for about 45 minutes and ridden for about 15 minutes and then gradually over a couple of weeks that will increase to being on the horse walker for 30 minutes and ridden for 30 minutes and we try and keep it at about that level for the first two months so they're not having to carry a heavy weight on their back for too long. These two fillies behind me have been ridden in their boxes for a few days now and they've graduated into the lunge pits. So this is the first day that they've been ridden in the lunge pits and as you can see, they're going really well. We pair them up. The reason that we do that is if one's a little bit reluctant to go forward, the other one will take a lead. So they can just sort of help each other out a little bit. And horses are herd animals. They tend to like to be together. They don't like to be on their own. All the time, just trying to do things to keep the horses happy and as quiet as possible. Possible. They'll probably only spend about 10 minutes in the pit. They'll do this for a couple of days and then once the riders are happy with them in the pits we'll then go into the barn and then into the trotting rings. So every day you're trying to take really gentle steady steps with them but also you don't want them getting bored. You've got to challenge them with something new every day. Here we are at the pre-training yard on the Hamilton Road. We've got a group of yearling fillies who arrived from America three weeks ago and this is their first day ridden in the barn. Today's a big step for them. They've come out of the lunge pits where they've been ridden and this is their first day in a sort of bigger open space. As you can see from the horses trotting around behind me, we use Dougal as our hack, our lead horse. He leads the babies everywhere. It gives them a bit of confidence to go forward. You can imagine having a rider on them for the first time and being in the barn for the first time is enough of a shock. So Dougal just leads the way for them really. They're all accepting the rider well, they've all accepted the bit well and at this stage you can start to see how well the horses have been broken in and already here you can see the filly in third there, the black filly really standing out, she's a beautiful mover. It's a real skill breaking in yearlings, it's not, not as straightforward as, as people might think. So here we are on the yearlings first day in their trotting rings, um, so it's a big day for them, first day out in the wide open spaces. The aim of today is just for the horses and the riders to enjoy the experience. They're going to have a little trot and a little walk out here, just enough to get their backs down, not too much that they get tired. Our trotting rings are three furlongs around, which is 600 metres, so they've done two laps of it and then they've had a little walk as well. Just enough to sort of let the riders sort of get to know the horses and teach the horses a little bit about steering, but not too much to make them tired. Okay, Sammy. Yeah, good. Yeah, she's got nice mouth. Good, isn't she? It's really supple. Yeah. She's a bit isn't she, with her good. She's jumpy with Twitter today, especially. I don't know. Riders have all managed to stay on. Horses have had a good time. And that's all we're looking really for at this stage. Just we want happy horses and happy people. The yearlings um, have been ridden for about three or four weeks now and part of the breaking process, something that we're trying that's new this year, is that we have an international dressage rider and coach, Malcolm Holthausen, who's coming in to just give us a bit of a hand with the horses and with the riders, sort of coming at it from a different angle from traditional race riding to more sort of dressage riding. Hopefully it's going to help the horses and help the riders. It's just a sort of different style of riding and obviously Malcolm brings a sort of wealth of experience. We're trying to teach the horses at this stage to be softer in their mouths, stretch through their backs, learn to have leg on their sides rather than riders having their stirrups pulled up. So it's a different sort of riding that will hopefully benefit the young horses in 
enormously and make them a lot easier to ride in the future. You can see behind me what we're trying to achieve. Sarah in front's on a new approach colt. He's only been ridden for four weeks and you can just see how relaxed he is. Sarah's got her leg on his side with a little bit of contact in his mouth and he's stretching through his back, using himself properly. He's well balanced. And the hope is that if a young horse can learn these basic skills of carrying a rider with balance early on, it helps their riders in the future, it helps them to balance themselves in a race and it should help with injury prevention because they'll be able to pick up their feet properly. If they learn basic manners at this stage, it should help them in their later career. Young horses can even learn whilst they're walking. So here we can see Malcolm's getting them into formation and in that three they'll just sort of walk through each other. So it's the first time they've ever really been taught to go in between horses and walk through horses. And again, it's valuable education for when they get on the race course. We're about six weeks into the breaking process now at Hamilton Hill, so we're in the latter stages. The horses are on the walker for half an hour, tacked up in the mornings. They then come into our rings here. We've got a three furlong ring around me that you can see, which is private, so we can do whatever we want in here, which is great. They trot about six furlongs twice, and then they'll have a little hat canter of three furlongs, and they'll also walk through the wooden stalls. Perhaps most importantly at this stage, we've got them in normal tack, so they've got normal bits on a loose ring snaffle rather than the braking bit that they had on for the first five weeks, and they don't have their side reins on anymore. We're trying to make sure that the yearling's been exposed to everything they're going to experience at the beginning of their training programme in the trainers here, so it's not too much of a shock for them when they go into their trainers. The first six furlong trot that the horses do is just to get their backs down, but then the second six furlong trot they do, you'll see behind me, the horses are all zigzagging. Um, and the reason we do this is just to make sure that they're listening to their rider and not just following each other around the string. And it teaches them to bend properly, um, teaches them to sort of listen to pressures on the mouth, just trying to make sure that they're actually getting an education and not just being sat on. Starting to get the horses to learn about going through each other, getting them confident in going through gaps, all the time thinking about things they're going to be faced with on the race course and trying to sort of replicate it in the best way here. This is something that Malcolm taught us to do this year and is proving a great hit with everyone. It seems to work well. And then they'll have a little hat canter. Again, important to get them in smaller groups for their canter because I don't want them all just following each other around. This way we've got four different horses leading the canter rather than just one. We're just starting to get the yearlings used to going through stalls with a rider on their back and we just start off by using the wooden stalls behind me. So again, just baby steps all the time, just trying to make it a gradual process and, and not overwhelming them and not frightening them at any stage. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good girl. Not that scary. The group behind me here have been here for 10 weeks now and this is their last day so we're at the final stage. They've all been out on the heath cantering for about three weeks now and we couldn't be happier with them. And this is sign off stage. So Marie Murphy, who's Charlie Appleby's assistant trainer, has come out to see them today so that we can give her the full load down on each individual horse and try and make sure that the transition into training is as smooth as possible for them. We're all putting on weight now. The only one that wasn't was Nishama but she put on weight last week. They can cut across now, Andy. If you just tell them to get on the canter before they get to us, so they canter past us. They did their first canter on the grass this morning in little groups of four, just sort of teaching them to get used to cantering next to other horses and having other horses around them. And their second canter is on the way home, so we just want to see them nice and relaxed, single file, hat cantering home, and hopefully just enjoying themselves, really. The most significant part of this canter is the fact that they haven't got the white rails either side of them so they're really learning to go in a straight line listen to their jockey they've all done an amazing job through the braking process here the lads have done a remarkable job with all of the horses and now they're ready for the next stage with their trainers <laughs> <laughs>